friends today we are going to see the soil mechanics mcq in the topic of shear strength of soil so the question the shearing resistance of soil is constituted by option a structural resistance and frictional resistance option b shearing strength option c none of above option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option a structural resistance and frictional resistance so next question the shear strength in coercion less soil is due to option a internal friction option b coercion option c intergranular friction option c interparticular force so the correct answer is option c intergranular friction so next question the failure condition for the soil can be expressed in terms of limiting stress called option a principal stresses and shear strength option b shearing resistance option c none of mentioned option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is principal stresses and shear strength so next question the shear deformation of soil in building can cause dash of the following option a sinking of footing option b sliding in the earth embankment option c movement of wedge option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option d all of mentioned so next question major principal stress in the soil is represented by the simple sigma 1 option b sigma 2 option c sigma 3 option d sigma 4 so the correct answer is option a sigma 1 So next question the circle obtained from two dimensional stresser system is known as option A principal stress circle option B more circle option C shearing stress circle option D none of mentioned so the correct answer is option B more circle so next question the maximum shear stress tau max for the soil mass is equal to option a sigma 1 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 option b sigma 1 plus sigma 3 divided by 2 option c sigma 1 into sigma 3 divided by 2 option d sigma 3 minus sigma 1 divided by 2 so the correct answer is option a sigma 1 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 so next question the curve obtained by plotting the normal stress and shear stress is called option a mohs envelope option b coulomb's envelope option d c strength envelope option d stress envelope so the correct answer is option c strength envelope so next question which of the following is the coulomb strength equation option a s equal to c plus tan phi option b c equal to s plus c tan phi option c s equal to c plus sigma tan phi option d s equal to tan phi So the correct answer is option C yes equal to C plus sigma tan phi. So next question the critical shear stress causing failure of material depends upon option A properties of the material and normal stress on the plane option B intermediate principal stresses option C none of mention option D all of mention. So the correct answer is option A properties of material and normal stresses on the plane. So next question theory of failure first developed by option a coulomb option b more option c cassegrande option d dossi so the correct answer is option a coulomb so next question the more coulomb failure theory can be expressed algebraically by which of the following equation option a s equal to c plus sigma tan phi option b tau f equal to s equal to f of sigma option c s equal to f of sigma option d tau f equal to f of sigma so the correct answer is option b tau f equal to s equal to f of sigma so next question more envelope can be considered to be the straight if the angle of internal friction phi is assumed to be option a 90 degree option b greater than 90 degree option c less than 90 degree option d none of the above so the correct answer is option d none of above so next question shearing resistance can be determined in the laboratory by dash methods option a two methods option b six option c four option d eight so the correct answer is option c four so next question which of the following shear stress is developed based on the drainage condition 
ऑप्शन ए ए क्विक टेस्ट एंड कंसोलिडेटेड एंड ड्राइन टेस्ट ऑप्शन बी डायरेक्ट सीयर टेस्ट ऑप्शन सी नन ऑफ मेंशन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए ए क्विक टेस्ट एंड कंसोलिडेटेड एंड ड्राइन टेस्ट सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द डायरेक्ट सीयर टेस्ट कैन बी also called option a simple shear test option b stress test option c strain controlled shear box test option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option b stress test so next question to conduct undrained test which of the following is used option a slope grids option b perforated grids option c plain grids option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option c plain grids So next question which of the following is the disadvantage of shear box test option a stress condition of the shear box is complex option b the test cannot be used for coarse grain soil option c no control of drainage of the soil option d the shear box test is more complex test so the correct answer is option a stress condition of the soil is complex so next question the major difference between the direct shear test and triaxial shear test is option a control of the drainage level option b stress condition option c none of mentioned option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option a control on the drainage level so next question in direct shear test the soil load is subjected to the more stress at option a at center option b edges option c top and bottom option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option b at edges so next question the triaxial compression test was introduced by option a a cassegrand and coltezaghi option b more option c none of mentioned option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option a cassegrand and coltezaghi so next question which of the following strength test is commonly used for the laboratory option a a direct shear test option b confined compression test option c triaxial test option d unconfined shear test so the correct answer is option c triaxial shear test so next question which of the following outlet is provided at the base of the triaxial test apparatus option a self fluid inlet option b pour water outlet option c discharge outlet option d all of mention so the correct answer is option d all of mention so next question pour water pressure developed in the triaxial test can be measured by option a biceps apparatus option b pour pressure apparatus option c tezaghi apparatus option d mohs apparatus so the correct answer is option a biceps apparatus So next question the deviated stress developed in the proving ring through the applied pressure is equal to option A sigma 1 plus sigma 3 option B sigma 1 minus sigma 3 option C sigma 2 minus sigma 3 option D sigma 2 plus sigma 1 so the correct answer is option B sigma 1 minus sigma 3 so that is major principal stress minus minor principal stress So next question in unconfined compression test the value of sigma 2 and sigma 3 is equal to option A 1 option B 0 option C 0.5 option D 1 by 2 so the correct answer is option B 0 so next question the unconfined compression test is derived from option A direct shear test option B vane shear test option C triaxial compression test option D drained test so the correct answer is option c triaxial compression test next question the unconfined compression test is generally applicable to option a unsaturated clay option b saturated clay option c fine grain soil option d coarse grain soil so the correct answer is option b saturated clay so next question when the mohs circle is drawn is confined compression test its radius will be equal to option a cu option b qu option c ru option d none of mention so the correct answer is option b qu so next question the factors affecting pore pressure parameter is option a type of shear option b temperature option c nature of fluid option d all of mention so the correct answer is option d all of mention So next question the value of pore pressure 
parameter a failure for saturated clay is option a 1.2 2.5 option b 2.3 option c 0.3 to 0.7 option d 0.7 to 1.3 so the correct answer is option b 2.3 so the next question the equation for the unconsolidated undrainage strength of the clay is option a tau equal to c plus sigma tan phi option b tau f is equal to c into cu plus sigma tan phi cu option c tau equal to c plus sigma option d tau equal to sigma tan phi so the correct answer is option b tau f equal to c cu plus sigma tan phi cu again we will see in next video thank you